things were a little different last night, I guess we could say. If you just looked at the screen, right, the split screen, you see two candidates, it looked like a normal debate. But there was actually plexiglass up there between the two. There was 12 feet of space between the two candidates as well. It was decidedly different in tone as well from the Trump-Biden showdown we saw last week. I have to say thank God for that. It was a yes. lot <laughs> more watchable, let's just say. But here to give us their analysis of the vice presidential debate are two ABC News contributors. We have Yvette Simpson, CEO of Democracy for America, and Sarah Fagan, former White House political director under President George W. Bush. Gr both, sorry, Bush. Great to see <laughs> you both. You'd think I was up late last night. <laughs> you two both were, and we were watching you. And before we get to last night's debate, though, I want to talk to you about what we just heard from the Commission on Presidential Debates. They've decided to hold the second presidential debate virtually. The Biden camp said, great, we'll be there. The Trump camp says, won't do it, won't be there. So I want to get both of your reactions. Yvette, we'll begin with you. This is just confirming the fact that he does not take this seriously, that he thinks he, uh, the rules apply differently to him uh, as we are all quarantining and self-isolating. And so I think it's just tone deaf. Uh, and I think uh, the presidential debate uh, committee should uh, continue to hold it virtually and call his bluff. Sarah? Well, I don't understand the decision. I think the president needs to improve in this race if he wants a chance to win and these debates are really the best and last chance he has to change the narrative so i think he needs to participate i don't know that this is the final verdict though amy i mean we've seen this president before he has a tendency to have a pretty quick and hot reaction when he doesn't like something and then walk it back all right so let's go to last night both candidates uh, both presidential candidates at least went to twitter congratulated their running mates and certainly know they felt that their person won uh but let's talk about senator harris for a second uh, i know you think she did a pretty good job maybe you think certainly she won the debate but give me a grade for her performance last night i would give her an a an a i would give her an a and here's why you know um, one, she had the task of being both uh, participant and moderator. We all watched, uh, and I know a lot of women have commented on my feed, we're always the woman in the room telling the man in the room, okay, we need you to slow down, stop, le listen to me, don't lecture me, don't mansplain me. So she did that really, really well. Uh, I think she put forward a vision for a Biden-Harris uh, ticket going forward if they were president and vice president. I think she did a great job of checking uh, the Trump administration. There were times when even Pence didn't have a comeback, and I think that is really, really important to note. And I think she spoke to the American people, you know, about how this president has affected them directly, very pointedly. And I know that's really hard to do. And also, I think she had this great balance of not just being a prosecutor, but being a, a you know, being a senator. We saw her be a leader. She looked very presidential last night, and I think with all that she had on her plate to deliver, I think that gives her an A. Sarah, I'm going to ask the same question to you about Vice President Mike Pence. How do you think he handled last night? I thought he did very, very well. You know, I think that he won it by a hair. I think Senator Harris also did well in the debate. But I thought Mike Pence did the best job I've heard in this campaign of laying out the choice on the ballot. And that is so important if this president is to uh, uh, close this race and ultimately win this race. He has to make this a choice a choice between two visions for America. And what Mike Pence did so effectively last night, and I think at one point really had Senator Harris on her heels on the economy, on tax policy, on energy policy, the Green New Deal. Uh, I think that Pence did himself personally, politically, a lot of good last night. All right, ABC News contributors, Sarah Fagan, Yvette Simpson, thank you both for being with us. We appreciate you coming on again. Thank, Thank you. you, TJ and Amy. Have a great day. So we, we're not going to talk about the fly? <laughs> we're not going to do the fly? Okay, we'll skip the fly. Apparently. We'll save that for social media. Okay. I think there are a few ma memes were made. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, no, you know what we're talking you about. You know what the fly All right. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.